A lot of us as educators see great power in AI or artificial intelligence, how it can help us as teachers, how students can use it. Let's look at some ways we can use AI to plan within Be Glad. First off, we should begin to ask why should we integrate artificial intelligence into our planning or into our instruction? Well, one key reason is to save time. We all know that planning at Be Glad Unit takes time. Finding all of the resources, creating resources, making sure everything is linked to the standards. This is one of the biggest challenges we face whenever we talk about Glad. Now, once the unit is planned out, preparing the materials doesn't take much time. Creating a quick input chart, penciling everything in, getting out the big book, creating the observation charts and hanging them around the room, those things don't take a terribly huge amount of time, but the initial planning does. And AI can be a fantastic tool to help us with that planning process, to make our planning more efficient, more strategic, more specific. Now, it's not gonna solve every issue here, but if we can shave off minutes or hours from the planning process, that is a huge advantage given that we have very limited time in education. Let's start by looking at how artificial intelligence can support us in generating text. There are a lot of strategies that utilize text. For example, we need to write a big book or we might need to write a narrative. AI is a fantastic tool to help us with that. We can build specific prompts into specific AI programs. For example, ChatGPT, Conmigo, Bard from Google. By giving a specific prompt, we can ask this tool to generate our big book, for example, by giving it the repeating pattern that we want to utilize. Then ask the chatbot to incorporate some specific bullet points, some specific sentences, some specific information to go along with that repeating phrase. The issue with artificial intelligence is that it doesn't have context. We have to provide that. So the more context we can provide, for example, the standards that we're focusing on, the key details we'd like incorporated, specific vocabulary we would like embedded within the text. I would like it written so that a student at this grade level will be able to understand it. We also have to not just rely on what it says. We'll have to read over the text and decide, is this what I wanted? Do I want it to rewrite specific portions or do I want to write specific portions? But by giving us a base, it allows us to then build upon it. So we can start with, here's the big book repeating pattern, here are the standards, here's some vocabulary. Please write three to four bullet points over five to six pages based on this topic. See what it comes up with. We can then edit from there. It may be great as is, or it may need some significant revision. It just depends. Similarly, we might ask the chatbot to write a narrative story that includes specific elements, you might have specific names of characters that you want built in. You can describe character traits that you wanted to weave in to the story, give it how long or short you want the story to be, etc. The more context you can provide into these chatbots, the better information and better text you're gonna get. There are a lot of ways we can use AI to support us as teachers, to make our lives a little bit easier, to find those just right resources to support students. All the tools that we used and all of the strategies that we planned for a unit can also be done by students if desired. Have students create their own big book where they create the repeating pattern and ask an AI chatbot to build in some key facts. Now students will need to be careful here that they research and make sure that those are accurate, that those are truthful. We can have them build in the standards as well. It might be a fun activity to ask them to create something with AI, whether that's a poem or chant or song, a narrative that they've created as a team, a big book, any number of things. It can be a fun way to get students to leverage AI for learning and have some fun along the way. In the next video, we'll continue to discuss how to incorporate artificial intelligence into our planning process to save time. Let's see how this process would look in a big book. Using ChatGPT for generating your big book text is a great way to cut down your planning time. You can come up with your main idea based on the standards that you are teaching. And once you have that main idea, you can use AI to generate some of the supporting details to add to your big book. For example, you can write, Write four supporting details for the gold rush to teach in a fourth grade classroom using this main idea. 
and then just type in whatever your main idea was. In this case, it is the gold rush transformed the economy and culture of California forever. Send message. So here is what is popping up. We can copy paste this text into a Word document to decide what parts of it we want to use and what parts we want to edit. You can use this text as a theme for each page in your big book. So here I'm just going to write page one and I'm just gonna add page two, page three, and page four. Since our big book has to be a minimum of four pages, that's why I typed in four supporting details. But if you want your big book to be longer, you can type in whatever that number is. I can even come up with a table of contents based on what AI had generated. So table of contents and on the first page we have discovery at Sutter's Mill. And we have population boom and diversity, which is page two. The third one is economic impact. And then legacy and cultural change is page four. Now you can copy paste the main idea of your standards into each page of the big book before and after the supporting details. We usually put our big book supporting details in bullet points, so that's something that you can edit in here during the formatting. And now we can go in and add a bullet point here. And anytime there's a new sentence, I'll add a bullet point. So in a few minutes, you are able to quickly create the first page of your big book. And then you can go through and apply the same process to all of the text in the supporting details of the big book on all of the pages. Continue this process until your entire big book is formatted the way that you prefer it to be. As a teacher, you have full liberty over the editing and revising of this text. If you wanna move anything around or add specific adjectives, this is a great way to put your personal touch on the text that AI generated for you. From here, all you really have to do is find pictures for your big book and now the planning of your big book is complete. You can see by using this process that it cuts down the planning time of coming up with all of the text that's going to be within the big book. You can apply this process to any of the big books that you need to teach in your classroom, regardless of your grade level or the content area.